On September 20, 2014, Adam Ward hopes to complete the inaugural Iron Man Maryland. This YouTube series is a weekly chronicle of his journey to hear those words, you are an Iron Man, and to inspire you to complete new challenges of your own. Well, it's 14 weeks to Iron Man Maryland, minus one day. And before I get into what I did this week, I just wanted to hit, here's the three first most important things if you're considering doing an Ironman. The first thing is, why do you want to do it? Could be that you want to qualify and compete in the world championships. Could be that it's on your bucket list. It could be that a friend invited you to do something. Although participating in a race that could last 17 hours is uh, really test your friendship. Second thing you need to do is actually register for a race. Now while Ironman is the biggest brand related to triathlon, there are certainly other brands that run great full distance triathlons. Rev3 is one. I did the Rev3 full at Cedar Point. Uh, also the Bridge to Battleship out of Wilmington. A uh, bunch of cool local ones, the Floridian down in uh, obviously in Florida. But So find a race, register. If you're trying to do an MDOT race, then you're going to have to plan ahead of time. Most of those fill up very quickly. The third thing is you need to get a training Do plan. I know you? Either buy one online or hire a coach. You need to work with a program that's either heart periodization or power periodization that has four different areas related to base, building, peak, and race. And that will give you the optimal performance on race day. Pick a plan that works for you. Don't pick one because you think you're gonna do 20 hours a week and you can only do 10, or find one that's 10 and then you find yourself not getting the distances in that you need. You need to be able to do your long workouts each week and then you need to be able to do some speed work as well depending on, on what's going on. The past few weeks have just been crazy for me. I've had to make some adjustments, but I'm still doing the long rides, the long runs, and getting some swim time in. Well, today was an 84 mile ride supposed to be four hours, took just over four hours, averaged, I don't know, about 20 and a half miles an hour. The last hour, I had some kink in my quad, and I think it's because my seat had gotten too low. I actually had to stop and adjust it. 2,500 feet of elevation change, which is significantly more than Ironman Maryland will be, and the wind was about 10 to 15 miles an hour. Uh, so that might be comparable, but anyway, looking forward to it. 14 weeks. Find out why you want to do one, register for it, get a training plan.